good afternoon YouTube and here is my kit debrief for the Cumbrian Way which I just completed from August the 5th to August the 9th so I make that 96 hours or four days started on August the 5th at 12.30 from Alberston train station and then walked to Carlisle train station on the 9th at 12.30 so more or less four days completion um, here's my kit that I wore ultimate direction a fast pack 45 as it is as you can see on the side there's my ultimate direction um, FK tarp and on the other side my FK bivy bear in mind both of them weigh 300 grams each you have to carry two walking poles and just for the demonstration of video I've set them up in the back garden for a dramatic backdrop now the bum bag my OMM map case a little bit of tinkering, a little bit of plastic ties and clips, and uh, I use this every day. It's a great piece of kit. Everything that you need to hand is there. Food, maps, water, money, cash, cameras. Now, in here, I have got my camera, the Fuji XP120, which I have took videos on, and I will upload a video of it. Water, 600 millilitres of water, which was worth it. I had cash in here, and that's basically about it. And I had the uh, Google phone, which I'm filming this on, up here as well. So if you turn around, belt, chest, chest, absolutely super comfy. But I've just noticed this coming back. I have a tear. I can't believe it. Maybe now four nights and a week in the most when we practice runs so walking poles I never used my walking poles on the Cumbrian way they were there purely to put up the tent as a basher pole things that I didn't use that I still carried jungle formula mosquito repellent this here is a 750 milliliter water bottle which I carried on a um, Porter pots, porter strap, just quite handy. This is my graph water filter. I did not filter any water whilst I was there. There was no need. Empty crisp packet. Dr. Bonner's liquid soap, which I use for toothpaste, shampoo, and body soap. Absolutely brilliant. Didn't even get through a bottle. Now, in the backpack, here's my uh, toiletries. There's a the trowel, I never use the trowel. There's two lighters, I never use two lighters because I want the um, light on the cooker, there is a, a igniter. Toilet papers and wipes. Platypus, two litre bottle. isn't very waterproof because I realised it wasn't waterproof. Here's the mistake I made. These are my Gore-Tex Berghouse rain pants. They are very waterproof and very comfortable. I should have took my Berghouse Gore-Tex jacket. It did rain, even though it was summer, it did rain. Cook kitchen, MSR tightening kettle, collapse um, sea to summit collapsible cup and a gas bottle inside there and two micro things, two micro towels. My biggest mistake that I made was I took too many clothes. Here is the jacket lining that goes with all my parallel coats. Merino wool long sleeve, ASICs long sleeve, spare pair of socks. This is a silver reflective for five pound. I should get some tie back for next time. My Robin's air vapor mat, which is punctured. Which is punctured. Was that gutting on gutting? Merino long wool pants, which more or less make up my night sleeping equipment with the long sleeve top. An inflatable pillar. Spoon. Cooker. Now 
I didn't need this. This is the um, spark up torch. Did not need it. My pump set for my row bins which is the burst. Another spare pair of socks. Now, everyone come up to me and said to me on the campsite, you are not sleeping in there. One woman on the first night even come up to me and said, come to ours and we'll give you some food and water. I got four packets of crisps and a bottle of water because they felt sorry for me. They didn't understand that I wanted to sleep under there and I was protected. Now, sleeping bag. With the bivvy, with me merino wool, I was very warm. Some nights I was too warm. So I can't complain about my spoon shaped sleeping bag. Mountain hardware quilted jacket. Very warm, very light. Didn't need to take it because I had two jackets. Long trousers that I never wore. I wore shorts the whole week through walking. Getting up in the morning, put the shorts on and go to bed. I never wore them apart from getting on the train. I wore a long sleeve shirt with a collar from Carrymore. Very nice, but still damp and holding the sweat in. I don't think I'll take that again. Rucksack bag liner. Very good. Very comfortable. Apart from that, and my fast pack 45, I managed to get away with carrying a total weight of 21 pounds. I know I can go like that. I reckon I can drop a few more pounds off there quite easily. It's 21 pounds total weight with everything except food and water or nine and a half kilos. Camping on the way. I started from Alston. After eight miles I stopped at Birchbank. I paid five pounds a camp on Birchbank Farm, which is just off to the left hand side. Well worth it, shower and water. And people give me free food. I then walked on the next day, um, roughly 15, 16 miles, because I met somebody on the way and I stayed at Bay Brown Farm which was a large camping site in chapel style. Met a great guy there. I could be doing the John Moore of him next year. That's if he has got mates. I reckon he has got mates, but he said he had. And if he hasn't, I said I'm going on the John Moore with him. Thank you for the two beers. After that, I then did a massive day, 20 day, after talking to people alongside the water all the way up to Keswick, that you can stay in the camping and caravan club. When you get there, they're huge statics and there are 20, 50, uh, there are thousands of pounds worth of gear. I walked in on my feet with my rucksack and said I just need a shelter for the night. They charged £12. Their toilets and their kitchens are better than my house. Thank you to you for letting me stay that night. After um, Keswick, I then went to Weatherspoons for my evening tea, mixed grill in the evening. Absolutely fantastic. And then lied in till 8 o'clock in the morning when the weather spoons opened in Kevin's and then got a large English breakfast. Well worth it for the value. I then walked on through the rain when I found out that my jacket isn't waterproof. I then walked on through the rain to Coldbeck. When I got to Coldbeck, it's literally a one horse town. It is fantastic. I couldn't ask for a nicer place to live. I met a guy there who on the actual footpath, and you go through a gate, holds that piece of land by the river at the back of the mill. He charged me four pounds. I told him, put it up to five pounds. It's worth it. Everything that he's got is monopoly. There's one shop, one pub. And then after that, it was straight through from uh, Coldbeck into Carlisle. And I pushed miles out because it's a lot easier and a lot nicer walk that way. Now, food. Don't carry any food, bar one or two mountain houses because that's all you need just in case you can get food in proper shops and pubs all the way you can get water all the way and never filtered any water because there are water everywhere lots of taps lots of places that will stop and help you so in total i spent 29 pounds on my sleeping food i reckon it's worth carrying cash in your pocket never carried more than a litre of water on me because that's all I needed. Now, 
I never stopped in any pubs and I never drank any beers because some of you people need to find Jesus. Apart from that, I hope that you lighten your load and enjoy.